Farringdon Folly was built in 1935 by Lord Berners to tease the neighbours. He had many high society parties at Farringdon House, with guests including H.G. Wells, Salvador Dali, Nancy Mitford and Stravinsky, to name just a few. The hill on which the folly sits existed long before the folly and was an ideal lookout post during the Civil War and World War II. The poet Laureate Henry James Pye planted the Scots pine on the hill. Oliver Cromwell's men were stationed on the hill to bombard the church and town during the Civil War. When the tower was built, skeletons were found when the foundations were started and it is said that is why the floor is so cold. Are the spirits from the Civil War still here? In World War II, the folly was an observation post for the Home Guard. Excavated bones tell battles on the hill were many and brutal. The hill was also home to the Iron Age hill forts. King Alfred the Great had a castle here, as did Queen Matilda. Farringdon Folly is a place of history and mystery. Who did the bones that were excavated here belong to? Did they belong to the soldiers that fought on this ground? Is the spirit of Lord Berners who created this place wandering here? We're going to attempt to find out. Join the team as they enter this 100 foot tower in search for the truth. We are Paranormal Hunts and this is Farringdon Folly. Welcome to Paranormal Hunts Extra. We were about an hour into our investigation and we had already received some very strange words come through our Alice Box device. We also picked up on this bang that none of us had even heard in real time. You can clearly see from the footage that nobody moves when this happens, ruling out it to be any of the team. There was nobody else in the tower which makes this even more interesting. Our trail camera on the stairs also picks up changes in the temperature. We do not believe this to be paranormal, as the temperature in the rooms was different and we were able to debunk this. That's crazy mate. Mm -hmm. So is, it, is, it, is your name Robert? Is that, is that your name? I don't think Chris, you're welcome. Take a look at this footage as the team discovers something very disturbing and what we were just about to experience was very sinister indeed. We had just had the word Hermateus, meaning a person who touches souls and derives of Jewish origin, come through our Alice Box device. Was something more sinister making itself present in this building? Oh, 
We are now about to show you some footage captured on our camera located on the bottom floor. The team at this point are on the roof of the building getting the team photo before we begin our investigation. Watch as a series of activity occurs and our trigger objects go off followed by the temperature on the REM pod and finally what sounds like footsteps. Of course we do not deem this to be foolproof paranormal but we cannot explain this as the team were technically not even in the tower at the time. Just when we thought things couldn't get much clearer than that, this happened shortly after, a clear loud sound of what seems like something thrown. Again the team was still on the roof at this point. After spending some time on the main floor, we had now decided to split. Myself and Linda went down to the stairs. It wasn't long before we captured what sounds like footsteps. We confirmed that this wasn't any of the team on the main floor. And we were unable to locate where these were coming from. We had all now moved to the very top floor to conduct some spirit box sessions. Over the last few weeks we haven't received anything through our SB7 or SB11 and things have been pretty quiet with the spirit boxes but tonight this was all about to change as we had an influx of voices coming through. Take a listen to just some of these now. What was that? What we have just captured here is something that we are completely unaware of. Take a listen to these two pieces of footage. In the first one you clearly hear some sort of whistle. This is not any of us and you can see from our reactions nobody actually hears this. Then in the second piece you clearly hear some sort of disembodied voice. This does not come through our SB7 and you can clearly see that both myself and Jay are completely unaware that this has just happened and that we were lucky enough that our camera audio picked this up. When you were at that first channel, we were hearing the voices. Quite close to the bottom then. Is that what it said? The bottom. Oh no. So, my name is W. Shoe, could you say that again, please? Our investigation had given us some surprises throughout the night 
and Faradun Folly certainly seems to be holding and hiding some deeper secrets to its history. With skeleton remains found during its excavation, footsteps heard, trigger objects activated, temperature fluctuations and different types of voices on the spirit box, I'd say that there is undoubtedly more to discover. Until next time on Paranormal Hunts Extra, sleep tight.